Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You must have such time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, extracurricular groups, athletic teams, and on-campus organizations are formed to serve common objectives while providing a safe and welcoming environment for students. However, hazing is a dangerous and, all yet, and yet all too common practice that runs counter to the values of these organizations and threatens students' health and safety. Too many lives have already been lost because of ha hazing, including one in, in my state of Virginia. In 2021, Adam, Adam Oaks, a freshman at Virginia Commonwealth University, tragically died because of an alcohol-related hazing incident at a fraternity. Regrettably, since 2000, there have been over 100 hazing-relating deaths on college campuses nationally. The fact is that nothing can lessen the agony of losing a child or a friend. However, I'm hopeful that these, from these tragedies, Congress can step in and help students and families avoid future tragedies. We're here today because of the tireless advocacy of families and friends who have lost loved ones from hazing. For years, these families have worked to advance state and federal policies to end hazing and protect students. And some of those families have joined us in the gallery today. The Bipartisan Stamp Stop Campus Hazing Act, H.R. 5646, would protect students from hazing on college campuses by improving reporting and prevention standards. Specifically, it mandates that colleges and universities report hazing occurrences on their annual Clary reports, the incidents of crime reports, establishes a campus-wide anti-hazing education programs, increases transparency about past hazing incidents so, parents, so students can make informed decisions about joining campus organizations. When taken together, these policies create a roadmap for a cultural shift in hazing on our campuses that will save students' lives. I want to thank the gentlewoman from Georgia, Ms. McBath, and the gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Duncan, for their leadership on this issue. I support H.R. 5646 and encourage my colleagues to, to do the same. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I reserve the balance of my time.